What's up, clean gang? How to give y'all a little tutorial on how to change brakes on the 2006. The 02, the 2006 Chevy Avalanche, Tahoe, Suburban, Yukon, whatever. It's my baby. 06 Chevy Avalanche Cat Eye. Yep. So uh, I got the jack, jack the front up. And this cross number right here. Put the jack under there. Pick up one side at a time. Well, I had to pick up two. I'm gonna pick up one side at a time. I done took the little nuts off. So my little nuts. So they are, I said mate. Then I had a little lot, little lot one going on in a three fourths. And that's my impact. But uh, I'm gonna uh, sit y'all to the side, take this wheel off. I have a full three inch lift, two wheel drive, rough country shocks, front and back, uh, drilled and slatted rotors, two inch adapters on my truck. Yep, so you got star, star, take these off the front, but it's sockets on the back. So my twos these are my twos right here let's see if I got a store I don't think I got a store Bear with me, game. Should have looked at it. Should have looked at it before I started to make sure. But it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I guess I'm at the loader back up. Go to the store right quick. All right, right back at y'all. All right, clean game. I'm right back at y'all. So I went and got it. Socket that I need. It's a T55. T55. For that one. That one right there. Take them two off. Pull the brick out. That's all you need. Got my jet stand up. My jet. All right, sit y'all right here. Let's get to it. Slide up on this side. So I can see me on the side. Let me see what I got. Oh, walls. If I just keep y'all with me, how about it? I'll put it in there. 
Right is tight, left is loose. So if you ever have a problem and that start right there, start moving, this right here, then you just get your, uh, get this pair of pliers and then, you know, just, just hold it. Hold it right there. And then you just uns untighten it. Should be good though. Let's see if I can do it with my hand. Oh yeah, see, just like that. Out she go. Go down to the bottom. That's the other one. Pretty tight on me. But yeah, gang, I'm gonna try to get y'all some some good old content on working on trucks or cars and whatnot. Sometimes I I change the oil and all that too. You no, know, so the only thing you gotta do next is pull it off. Make sure the brake cap is off. Take the brake cap off. Just in case some air and stuff wanna get in there. Should come out. If it don't wanna come out, chill on flat head. It's like to be pain in the butt sometimes. Just like this, off she goes. So, okay, these are pushed out. You gotta get them back in. These are the brakes. They shouldn't be bad. I don't think they're bad, but I feel like I need to replace them. They ain't that bad. Compared to new ones. Got these off Rock Auto. I ordered a lot of stuff off Rock Auto. Ceramic. Since I got drills and slider rotors. So I ordered a lot of stuff off there. From place to go, they cheap. They're cheaping in advance. Auto's on or rally. You know what I'm saying? If you can wait on it, just order it. You feel what I'm saying? So now, dealing with brakes, just gotta match them up. That's the only thing you gotta do, match it up. Okay, so I got it's the old one, got two clips there, three holes there. So I got two clips here, three holes there. It's on the front, on the back, this is how these look. In the back, I got one. So, I get these right here. One clip, one clip. Three holes. See, they got two clips. Oh, new. Oh, new. These are going to the back. Just like that. And then you slide to the front. Sit, sit in little slots right there, little grooves. Now you can, oh shoot. 
can you can change them out. You know what I'm saying? It'll be these. But I mean, ain't nothing wrong with the ones I got, so I'll just keep these on, on standby. You know what I'm saying? So you can change them out. But back to this. I gotta get this pushed in. See how it's out. So what I'm gonna use, you know you're supposed to use the brake, the brake tool. You can also use this. Done. Doing everything with one hand, so bear with me. So, one thing you gotta do: take these, spin them out. So, sometimes they want to act, they want to act special. So you can take your old brake pad, wind it up, get right in the middle, like that. Both brake pads on both sides, and get it right. Yeah. Just like that. Alright. The only thing you gotta do is slide them back on. Push it on just like that. Push them in. Get your little hammer right. His hand tight first. So you try to put it in there uh, with a socket. There we go. Put your hand tight down. 
Right and tidy. Left and loose. Snowflakes. I always get level. Make sure that go in there. That go in there. Sometimes you gotta uh, walk the wheel in. Or jack the wheel of the truck up. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta jack it up a little bit. A little bit. Flush. I always make a star pattern when you tighten up lug nuts. Make sure they're on first before you put an impact on them. So you can cross thread them. Snow. Snow. You got hooked up. I'm gonna reposition my, my um, jack because it's kind of slipping.
I'll take this over here. I need the other one. Tighten this up right here. That's all that you need. You don't need nothing too special. Mm -hmm. And that flathead. So, and the brakes. Trying to get stuck, just put them back up down and then just whip it off, just like that. They be like. Right. Shoot everything out the way. Just in case, that's all. That's all it is. So, on this side, same thing. That's that, that, T55. Let's see if it's Righty, tidy, lefty, loosey. Oh, hope that ain't rounded off. It's gonna suck. Get the T's in there. Down pretty good. So I'm back. Can't get it off. Got the bottom one off, but the top one is screwed. So I had to get back with y'all on taking the driver's side off. I did take the passenger side off. Probably being another, another clip. I'm probably trying to get that off. Cause she is, she is bad. I might probably just end up pushing this back. Pushing this bit right here and getting in there and just cut it off and get it by another one. So I'm gonna drop this tonight and then just probably pick back up. I'm changing this out, changing this side out, and maybe my spark plugs. And I might order upper control arms and tie rods. I really want the rough, rough country up because uppers or the carnitos. I don't know, I do got a rough country uh, and threes all the way around. Got the bats too. Uh, sorry about that. I wish I had not had something to fix it right quick. But anywho, you get it from the first one. Ain't nothing to it. But to do it. 
See what I'm saying? First, with your hand, so you won't cross the red. Sometimes you do run into problems, so can't let it defeat you. Just gotta come right back at it. Order the parts. Drop it hit again. You see me? Get back on. I'm actually doing painting these white. Painting these white right now. I'll be putting them on today. My hood, HD hood, HD uh, grill, 2500. Yeah. Well, I'm out.